last would you rather hear, Tori? We talked about Aaron Rodgers and possibly being traded in, and uh, Jordan Love is the backup quarterback in Green Bay, and Kyle Trash has signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Or, you know, he was a second round pick for them this year. So, would you rather, Tori, sit behind Aaron Rodgers or sit behind Tom Brady? Well, I would probably go with Rodgers just because he's so cerebral and his approach there again, like he doesn't have the titles that Brady does, but he's his passing stats. If you put them season by season are a thousand times better than Tom Brady's are. Right. He, he knows how to dissect the guy can break down a defense like no other. And it's like I said, he just, he doesn't make the mistakes. So like being a Packer fan my whole life, when we had Favre and we were down by a score, because he's either going to win this game or toss a pick. We knew that was going to happen. <laughs> With Rodgers, if we're down by a touch, I'm like, we got this. We're going to at least tie this game. Like, because he can, he, that's the way he is. He just does not make the crucial mistakes usually. So uh, give me him all day long. Brady does still throw quite a few interceptions. Brady doesn't have the best decision making skills in my. The thing is, yeah, when you sit behind Brady, if you want to learn about nutrition, how to play till you're like 90, <laughs> right? Um, how to pick up supermodels, you know, how to, how to win Super Bowls, apparently. Um, yeah. But it, it's me, if I'm trying to develop as a quarterback, give me Rogers just because of the way he approaches the game and the way he handles the handles everything. You will never see him get extremely angry generally on the sideline. Right. Once in a great while, that's why the media will blow it up every time. So Matt Lafleur actually was on on the radio last week. <clears throat> on a, I can't remember which show it was. It, but it was him, Sean McVay. It was like a couple other coaches, and uh, he called whatever play, and Aaron ran it, and Aaron was mad. And uh, Lafleur goes, he came over to the sidelines and lit me up. He lit me up, and you know what? He was a hundred percent right. <laughs> <laughs> because he cha he he changed the play to whatever and it was just awful whatever it was and he's like Aaron lit me up and he's like I'm not gonna lie he goes the more I looked at it the more I thought about it he's like yep I screwed that one up yeah so we've heard stories of like where Tom Brady doesn't ever let like a backup quarterback take reps or like anything like just like that and we have never heard that about Aaron Rodgers we've like we've actually heard that Aaron Rodgers has really good relationships with their quarterbacks and helps him and progress and stuff like that every every single one of them graham harrell became like you always like i'll talk about like a lot of his best friends are a lot of times the, the other quarterbacks it's the quarterbacks in the room like him and graham harrell were inseparable so like their thing and aaron still does it is like photo bombing like the like when they would have the cap the team captains for each game come out aaron will always photo bomb whoever it is like he always does stupid little stuff like literally lambo will play all of his photo bombs right on the screen <laughs> and that, that's what he does so like him and graham harrell used to do all that like they all get together and like last year they did like a billy madison theme so like aaron dressed up as as uh, ben stiller as the caretaker um i know it wasn't last year's was a couple years ago because brett hunley was still there and i think that's the year we had no deshaun kaiser it was deshaun kaiser Far, far, Rogers. Um, God, I can't think of the kid's name that we had from Arizona State. Manny, Manny Wilkins, and and Tim Boyle, and they all dressed up as like characters from Billy Madison, like during training camp. Like they do stuff all that. Like he's really good about building camaraderie and making everybody feel welcome in the locker room. And you know, as much as they want to try to say Aaron's mad at Jordan Love, Aaron's mad at Jordan Love. He has publicly stated, I'm not mad at Jordan. It's not Jordan's fault. None of this is Jordan's fault. So yeah. um, I, I don't know, give me Aaron Rodgers all day long just because he is a much more welcoming person, I think, and very cerebral. Yeah, and I, I would pick Aaron Rodgers as well simply because, like, I think he would let me learn, you know, like make me a better quarterback at the end of the day. And as Drew says – Tom Brady would compete with, or Jimmy G said that Brady would compete with the backups. I mean, it, is that a friendly competition to like get you better, or if it's to say I'm better than like you are? And to me, that's that 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 is coming off as saying that I'm better 
than you are. That's why I'm picking Aaron Rodgers as well on the would you rather. So, Tori, that is going